In this video, we're going to be talking about how some of the scientists are predicting the future of the pandemic and the effects of the continuing pandemic on both the vaccinated and unvaccinated community and what kind of scientific evidence they are using to support these claims. My name is Dr. Mikola Rasek of Mero Genomics and before we get going, I want to remind you that we have another COVID Q&A event coming up where we're going to be talking about exactly this information so if you want to know how you can get free tickets to this please stay till the end of the video to find out and let's get going so one of the scientists very few scientists actually attempt to predict the future and definitely authorities stop attempting predicting the future probably because of their massive failure in successfully predicting the past because obviously some of the predictions made by the authorities in the past turn out to be horribly wrong uh, examples of that are the impact of lack of lockdowns on the death rate and the other one of course is the uh, concept that vaccines will stop infection which clearly did not take place because we had the emergence of the immune escape variants but nevertheless there are some scientists that do attempt to predict the future we do follow these scientists we think it's actually very important to attempt to predict the future the reason why is because only then do you know how to properly assess whether your current approaches in handling the pandemic are accurate or not so it's unfortunate that the authorities are not trying to analyze what the future outcomes could be but we do follow the scientists and one of them that we actually are fond of is dr gerd van den bosch so we've made a few videos about uh, the predictions of this particular scientist and he has released some new material predicting the fact that likely we're going to see the emergence of many viral infections as well as bacterial infections and he explains as to why that might be we're actually not going to talk about this specifically in this video if you want to learn more please come to our COVID Q&A video the reason why we don't want to talk about this is because this is more speculative information however we do want to talk about the science information that Dr. Van den Bosch uses to support his claims. So one of the primary, primary sources of information that he claims to support his theories is the fact that the virus continues to evolve, not only to become more infectious, but also he claims eventually the virus will also continue to evolve to become more pathogenic and in some of the latest predictions which include outcomes for both the vaccinated and unvaccinated communities and what these two communities can expect independently and separately of each other and how both of these communities of individuals should be protecting themselves and to support his evidence he shows that there is scientific information published showing that the latest variants that are now starting to dominate the world, they have not taken over the world yet, the Omicron variant BA4 and BA5, appear to be already become more pathogenic than the previous variants. So in Omicron immune escape variants, they have become more infectious. We already all know about that because basically everyone under the sun is getting infected these days. But as we also all know, Omicron has become milder than the prior variants such as for example the Delta. So unfortunately it appears that the emerging variants right now such as the BA4 and 5 which we discussed about previously, not only are they becoming also more infectious, but they appear to be more pathogenic. So they, Dr. Van den Bosch brought attention to one of the scientific papers. This is a preprint though, so it means it hasn't been peer reviewed yet. That shows that BA4 and BA5 variants, which are identical in their sequence in the spike protein, they're, they're differ in their sequence in other viral proteins, they seem to be more pathogenic and the authors of that preprint were able to show that by showing that the lung epithelial cells were being more infected by the BA4 and BA5 variants, better infected by those variants than BA2 var Omicron variant, which the world already has gone through. Also, the authors of that paper showed that hamsters were, when they were infected by BA4 and BA5, they had more pathogenic outcomes so they had more serious disease 
and then finally and this is really important because we discussed this before the authors of that paper use a model system that showed that both BA4 and BA5 are more fusogenic so what does that mean fusogenic it means that cells that have been infected by either BA4 or BA5 variant are more likely to be able to fuse with other adjacent cells so in and the authors claim based on their past work that the in vitro cells meaning in a laboratory cell test that shows how fusogenicity of cells increases meaning that they can literally fuse with one another that's a very good hallmark for pathogenicity in humans and the reason why is because we do know that COVID-19 severity corresponds to the likelihood of how frequently lung cells can, that are infected by the virus can fuse with one another when when cells fuse with one another they create a giant blob basically giant cell with multiple nuclei, nuclei or basically many different nucleus inside a cell and basically that concept is called syncytia and this is a hallmark of severe COVID-19 and these authors showed that at least in a laboratory in vitro BA4 and BA5 are more likely to cause fusing of cells than say for example BA2 Omicron variant so together all of this evidence suggests that BA4 and BA5 have already evolved to not only become more infectious but also more pathogenic which is exactly the prediction that Dr. Van den Bosch claimed is likely to happen and this is one of the hallmarks that we are expected to see according to him in why we are going to see the emergence of more severe COVID-19 on top of that Dr. Van den Bosch explains in his latest material as to why we're going to see the emergence of more in of additional outbreaks of infections of both virus and bacteria and we're going to discuss that in COVID-19 events and as soon as we have more scientific information to support this we'll, we'll make further videos discussing about that nevertheless that's uh, that's what we have for you today and um, I also want to let you know how you can join our COVID-19 Q&A for free so the first 10 people who will subscribe to our newsletter we will send you free tickets to our COVID Q&A e event okay we also have another uh, event coming up this is uh, an event that me and two other experts organize for business owners and this is basically an event where me and the other two two experts talk about variety of different ways how employees could basically protect their well-being and we just we discuss financial well-being mental health well-being as well as physical well-being because the goal here is that we want to ensure that people have basically best approach to life that they can feel secure and comfortable and the reason why is because that we believe will foster the concept of feeling good about yourself which will result in being productive because happy people basically perform better so if you're interested in that check out our website money mind dna the link to that is in the description below as is the link for the newsletter subscription so check it out if you like this content please give us a like subscribe to the channel if you haven't already share the video this is how we grow obviously and also wanted to say thank you to everyone who has given us super thanks Thank you for all your donations all of that money goes straight to supporting the development of these videos because it's definitely not a solo attempt there is multiple people involved in the process so once again thank you very much it means a lot to us and um, see you next time in another in, in another content uh, development ciao for now